Okay, here we go. This is Hand of Fate. Uh, this is a Kickstarter that uh, I've been waiting for for a while, but it's finally turned up. Um, I've also got the Royalty expansion, but we'll take a look at that uh, later. So let's open this up, see what's inside it. Uh, got a knife for this. I don't usually use a knife, I usually just tear this apart with my teeth or something, but you know, you've got to be professional when you've got videos to, to make. Probably could have picked a sharper knife to be honest. So yeah, this is the special edition, which is the Kickstarter thing, so as you can see, it's all sleeve here. It says special edition, new game modes, new modules. Uh, so there's a hard mode and an endless mode, that's uh, that seems quite interesting. I'd quite like to see that. Uh, one versus many, five player deal mode. Uh, there's a lick boss, a new minions, traps, a new encounter. Exciting stuff. Um, so this is a, a board game that's based on a video game which I also, I think I did back that on Kickstarter. I'm pretty sure, but I did play it and it's pretty good. Um, and it's, it's a card game that you play against a dealer. And you can get into various fights and stuff. There's a lot of... Uh, a lot of equipment and all that kind of thing, and the fights all go into 3D, it's pretty cool. Um, if you haven't played it, I would recommend it if you're a board gamer, so yeah, let's open this up. Okay, rule book. Rule book. Uh, quite a few pages in this thing. Encounters, enemies, the royalties, combat, that'll be the important bit. Uh, death, death, death and pain. <laughs> That's what you want to see in a rule book. Now there's a nice glossary at the back there. Um, oh, quite a big glossary at the back there. Yeah, all sorts of stuff going on in this game by the looks of it. So, reference guide in the back, that's always handy. Uh, oh, what we got here? Another book, The Tome of Heroes. So this has got, oh, this has got all the Kickstarter backers' names in it. Ah, let's find me. Let's find me... Where am I? How do I spell my name again? It must be on this page. Do -do. There we go. It's in very, very tiny text. I'm going to see if I can get this in the camera. Uh, there's my name there. Chris Henry. There we go. Not very bright in that camera there, but... That's lighting for you. Special edition rules. Wow. Even more stuff. Special edition content. Um, trap rooms. Dealer mode. So that'll be for the one versus many, I'll, I'll assume. Uh, the endless mode. So there's the rules for the endless mode. Um, level progression. Blah, blah, blah. Another uh, reference guide in the back. Um... Okay, punch board. These, I think, are the currency of the game, these sort of uh, pentagon shaped things, and the little shards. Lots of food tokens, remember those in the game you have to you have to keep eating. I'll put those aside just now, let's just get rid of this lid, make some space. What have we got here? The board. Right, so before we go into what else is in the box, let's have a quick look at this board. Oh, this is nice. This is basically just a play mat, to be honest. Uh, let's just turn my microphone a little bit. There we go. Make sure it doesn't fall off the table. Well, there we go. This is where you'll weigh out all your cards when you're playing, I'm assuming. Um, okay, let's get back. In fact, this is nice. This is. I like this. It's got a sort of. It's not textured, but it does have the look of something that. Is textured. Uh, I like this. Obviously, somewhere to put cards. This must be. I'm assuming, by the looks of it, this is where you put dead cards. I like this uh, tearing effect. That's very nice. So yeah, good artwork. Quite pleased with that. Um, these must be player boards. Some player boards here. Uh, Offhand head, body, sides, so this will be where you'll be putting your equipment. You'll start off with a rusty axe like you do in the video game. 
Um, oh, we've also got character names on. This is Estrella. We've got Colbjorn. Uh, Malaclips. And Ariadne. That seems very spidery. Also, they seem to have their, their own pictures on here as well. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's put those aside just now. Let's have another look at what's in here. Oh, so now, now we're getting into the good bits. Look at this. These are nice cards. Let's, let's open this up. The Lick. These are bosses. The Jack of Dust, the Jack of Plague, Jack of Scales, Jack of Skulls. Queen of Dust, the Queen of Plague, Queen of Scales, Queen of Skulls, King of Dust, King of Plague, King of Scales, King of Skulls. There, there we go. But again, I like the artwork on this. I like the style that they've picked for these. These are pretty cool. Um, miniatures. Let's get on to the miniatures. These are very nice. Look at this guy. This is a, a skeleton, I think. I'm assuming this must be one of the bosses. Uh, what we got here? Some little blue guy. Arms open wide. Probably best if I turn it that way. Yeah? That's pretty good. Uh, oh, well. This I like. I do like a Warhammer. And what we got? More miniatures. Let's take a look at this one. Guy with a walking stick. He looks a bit like the dealer in the game, actually, in the video game. Uh, oh, well, <laughs> this guy's pretty cool. He's too big. Flat swords, like that. Uh, oh, pistol. Pistol person with a sword as well. Nice. And what we got here? I don't know what this is. This looks like some sort of. Uh, some sort of mystical creature. Very good. More cards. So this, like I say, this this is definitely a card game. So there, there, are, there are a lot of cards in this. You can see there are multiple decks. Here we go. This looks like some sort of equipment. Chain bombs. Um, not really sure what this is, but you know, strive. I'll open these up in a second. Something else, take your rewards, quest cards, some more uh, little cards. Uh, I'm assuming these will these will become clear once I actually read the rules. But uh, something to do with losing on there. Uh, got some cubes, classic cubes for a board game. Nice little discs. Um, another miniature. This uh, this looks interesting. Let's let's have a look at this. It's like a little, a little dwarf by the looks of it. It's theorizing some kind of first player token maybe. See, I'm one of these people who like I back things on Kickstarter. That I like the look of, but I don't look too much into them because I like surprises. I like to open up a game box and be surprised by what's in it, and you know have to sit and figure things out. Uh, what are these? It just says the hero on it, so. Let's open up this one first, have a look at that. We'll uh, get this box out of the way. The hero, the lick, the road forward, the trap dungeon. Yeah, these look like sort of location cards. Uh, these are different. These look like, ah, these look like traps. Look at the top two cards from the dealer's deck and take one. Place the others back on top in any order. I mean, it's hard to tell what these are going to be, but uh, without reading the rules. Oh, here we go. So the one of goblins, two of goblins, three of mages. Remember this from the video game. So you would just get random encounter cards and it would just be almost like tarot cards. So you would turn over something that's like the two of goblins or two of skulls or something like that. And that's what you'd be up against. There's a two of skulls, it would be a couple of skeletons and that's what you would have to fight. Let's leave those there. Uh, let's take out this deck open, I'll have a quick look at that. So these, who knows what, I think these are similar to the backs on these ones, aren't they? 
at least some of them, yeah, they look very similar. So it must be the same type of card. Um, Strive. I wonder if these are action cards of some sort. Hack. Uh, forage. Yep, that'll be something that'll give you food. So yeah, these, these definitely look like action cards. Flourish. Um, bad luck. <laughs> oh god, there's a lot of bad luck cards. Uh, push your luck. Push your luck, that's always something like in a game. Prestigitate. Uh, recall. Oh, what's this? Might's Kiss. Again, nice artwork on this. I like this sort of uh, the black and white style. It's very sort of classic fantasy stuff. Uh, double deal. Let's look interesting. Okay, let's get into the juicy bit. Let's look at these equipment cards. Just lie him down before I crush him. In fact, let's, let's arrange these up here for, for the nice the niceness of the video. Get rid of this rubbish. Chain Bombs, Wanderer's Bounty, and these are all similarly backed. Ring of Engorgion, so these look like a, possibly like some sort of epic item or something. Kraken's Claws, uh, Viking's Battle Axe, Skeleton King's Sword, Mortal Whimsy, Lion Princess, let's see. These look nice. Um, and these are different, these look like location cards again. So we've got Town, The Maiden, Fleeing Noble, Twisted Canyon. Yeah, these are these are ringing bells from the video games, the blacksmith. These are just places that you can come up, that you can you land on a space and see what it is. Mr. Lionel, I do remember Mr. Lionel. Um I'm pretty sure he just gives you stuff. Yep, looks like it. It's looks like he gives you a shield of some sort. Dead Man's Gorge, Abandoned Camp, and Crossroad. Smuggler's Wharf. Again, unique artwork on every card, and it's all pretty nice. Uh, there's a fair few of those. Uh, quite a lot. Those location cards, and that's good to see because it means that there's going to be a bit of variety every time you play the game. Um, it's quests. So, this Estrella. So, these look like cards that are unique to that character then. Um, here we go, here's more of the uh, encounter cards by the looks of it. So one of dust, two of dust, four of dust. Here we go, the two of skulls. It's just like I was saying. Three of skulls, one of plague. So a bunch of plague cards and the scales. So those are like the four sort of suits in the game. And what we got left, we've got this other deck here. Fix this a little bit, tidy up. Let's see what else we've got. Taking a little while to get into that one, but there we go. Um, so here we go, there's more quests. Ah, so these must be, yeah, these must go with the Estrella one. So these must be, yeah, unique to the character. So each character looks like they have their own quests. Uh, here we have Malaclipse's quests, um, Ariadne's, Colbjorn, these will go with Estrella's. So unique quests for each character, that's nice. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Again, these look like these are all got the same back, I think. So, a big deck of these. Take your reward, hunt, plan your path, cautious strike, consult the map, ascend. These look like again. These look like these are the action cards. Precise attack, flurry, uh, blaze of glory. That sounds fun. Battle cry, heavy blow. Uh, soldiers broadsword. So here's some here's some items. Uh, Mercenary's Blade, Claymore of the Wild, Lord Edgar's Hammer, Wanderer's Spear. All seem to be pretty unique. Uh, some generic shields, enormous shield, Shield of the Watcher, 
Angel's Wings. It's head armor. Interesting. So yeah, these look like armor pieces. Berserker armor, Devil's Crown, Hood of Might, or Hood of Night even. Ring of Clairvoyance, Breath of the Dragon, Strella's Pistol, uh, Captain's Pistol, and there's some, okay, there's some quest complete cards for the characters. Okay, so I'm a bit confused about this deck, but like I say, I'm sure it'll all make sense once we actually read the rules. Um, that seems to be everything that's in the, the base box. So, a lot of cards, a lot of cards, and that's what you would expect from this. There's also these things here, but I'm assuming that these are just the uh, effects and, you know, health loss things. Lose two health. Um, seems to be other effects in the bottom. Oh, the dagger, the goblet, the pentacle, the scepter. Okay. Who knows what these are? <laughs> it looks interesting though. I have to say, this does look interesting. I'm, I'm looking forward to giving this a go, because I did really enjoy the video game version of this. Uh, so we'll move this stuff out of the way and we shall open up the expansion. Um, where did I put that really bad knife? Here it is. So, I'm not sure what's in this, but it's the Royalty Expansion, so we'll see. So I should maybe be giving you a look at the back of the, the game box as well, but this is the back of this. The more you ask of the game, the more it takes from you. Foreboding. So, let's open this up. Royalty Expansion rules. Oh, this is quite thick. Uh, some scenarios by the looks of it. Play campaign. Yeah, these are these look like scenarios. The dust campaign. So it looks like different scenarios for the different suits of the deck. So there's a plague campaign. Uh, okay, that's interesting. I like the look of that. Um, some more punch board things. Hey, your guess is as good as mine as to what this could be. But, oh, here we go. Nice. So, I think this is the King of Dust. Um, this will be the King of Scales. Or, sorry, no, that will be the King of Plague. And he'll be the King of Scales, this guy. This little wizard guy. More cards. How unsurprising. I'll open these up and try not to mix them up with the base game stuff. Uh, well, you know what, I'll use my knife this time. Misplaced, manifest, so again these look like some sort of action cards, times toll. Scout, Juggernaut Force, yep, a lot of things in there. Some more items, King of Scales Crusher, that sounds good. Well-worn Leathers, uh, Curse of Avarice, Curse of Cao, oh, Curses, everybody likes a curse. The Queen's Crossbow. And here's some locations by the looks of it. So we've got the inn, the ferry, treasure trove, exciting, barracks, blood auction, food wagon. Again, quite a few of those. The hanged man, eh? a good reference to the tarot deck. The gambler, arena pit, there we go. Some good locations there. And we'll stick these back in here for now. And again, there's more of these little cars that I don't really understand, but you know. It's more stuff to do with losing health than that, by the looks of it. So there it is. That is Hand of Fate. Ordeals. The uh, board game based on a video game, which is based on a card game. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this uh, unboxing video. I'm hoping to do a lot more of these in the future. And we will hopefully stream this with my podcast co-hosts uh, sometime very, very soon. And we'll hope you can join us for that. Thanks for watching.